Hey guys, I got something for you today. When we plan on shopping top quality products, prices go out of our budget. And when we go for the products with lower prices, we lose out on the quality. But what if you could get bought, you know, the best products at the lowest prices? On Nesho, which is over one crore's users, the range of men's t-shirts starts as low as 199. You can buy top quality men's fashion and best prices. In fact, if you compare it you know, with other apps, it has the best quality at the lowest price point. Get your first order, discount of rupees 100 or flat 30% off by using the link in the descriptions to download Mesho and get free shipping, cash on delivery and easy returns on all your orders. Mesho also uh, gives you variety with over 60 lakhs you know, plus products to choose from, especially in men's fashion. You get belts, wallets, sunglasses, electronics, mobiles, gadgets, and even shoes under 499. How amazing is that? So if you're planning to buy a complete look like a t-shirt, trousers, and a pair of shoes, probably under less than 1,000, you will get it all. What are you waiting for? Download Misho now and uh, using the link below in the description, shop and get your first discount of 100 or flat 30% off. Hi guys, welcome back once again to another episode of the Alabonaga Show and today I am so happy. Uh, my friend, I've been trying to... <laughs> Okay, so I want to bring her like, <laughs> I, I, it's been, I've been trying to get this personality to my show for a very long time, but you know, I can't afford to go to Bombay and then she was not from here. But now today we are so happy that uh, she's one of the first stand-up comedian and uh, maybe right now one of the most celebrated, you know, actor from Nagaland who is working outside and we are so, Privilege today, honor to have my friend Mern Lime Song. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> Why are you not <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> please introduce yourself to the audience in your own style, please. Yeah. Um. Okay, I have to look here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Hi, my name is Mern Lam, and uh, I'm an actor, a comedian. Uh, below average singer mm -hmm. and uh, I'm terrified of snakes. I live in Bombay. I used to have a lot of plants. I don't have them anymore because of COVID. I had to give my plants away. Um, this is a very weird introduction. <laughs> I have yes, nothing to <laughs> say about it. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much me. Okay, so uh, so we know each other, you know, uh, from the time of leather jacket till today. You know? <laughs> so uh, for those who don't know, she was studying in uh, Hansraj and that's where I met her, you know, uh, a science student. And for those who don't know, another like topper, he, he, she was in, uh, you know, top 10 in top 15, right? That's what <laughs> your dad said. <laughs> that's what my in... dad said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My daughter was uh, number 15 in the top 10. Okay. Papa, your numbering system is a little... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So like, you know, like people... I'm sure the society, the family was like, oh, I'm not top, I know, this is the doctor, the engineer. And then what happened? You were studying zoology as far as I know. <laughs> yeah. And the next moment. Um, and then I even did my master's Ooh. because I didn't know what else to do after graduation. Achha, achha. So when you don't know anything, you know, you just, just end up like collecting more degrees till mm -hmm. you figure out. Mm -hmm. And then after that, everyone is like, yeah, now though, you know, you have to become an IAS officer, you mm -hmm. know. Oh, coaching uh, Huh? And then, yeah, so I was like, oh, but then I need to study so much. Am I ready to study so much? I've already mm -hmm. studied so much in my life. Mm -hmm. So I told my father, okay, maybe I was, this is me just convincing myself. Achha, I was achha. like, okay, maybe I'll try for forest service. But then, then I'll wow. like, zoology is already one subject and I'll do agriculture. Uh -huh. right? And then I took coaching, yeah, Ooh. for agriculture. Only for agriculture and then figured out this is not the right thing for me. Yeah. Okay. So then I, 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 after that you went into theater, right? So kini or not? Like how yeah. can like zoology or theater kini I know, right? Yeah. How so, did how did, uh, how did you land up there? So I, I remember going and spending some time with my uncle and my aunt, and then they were like, and then I, the, and by that time, mm. no, like everyone start, they, they were like, 
you're still you're 24 and you're still not working well, mm -hmm. what is this mm -hmm. and i was like oh i'm i'm giving i'm going to sit for exams and become a, a government servant mm -hmm. and I, I think even when my face i didn't look very convinced enough and i was like i will become a government servant yeah that's 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 the aim and they were just looking at me and they're like you you're not i can't imagine you sitting behind a desk and working wow. for the government you know you're you love entertaining people you should just go into the field of entertainment they told wow. me yeah so, so thanks then, to them. And yeah, you, and then I came know. back, and then I came back to Delhi, and I was like, okay, huh, entertainment field. And then I told my parents, mm -hmm. and my <laughs> parents were not very happy. I'm sure. <laughs> and then they were like, yeah, okay, yeah, just try if you want to, you know. So they thought it was like a phase, mm -hmm. you know, like like she'll come around. You know? And then like one year passed, okay, two years, three years, four years, and they're like, okay, uh, um, <clears throat> um, um, <laughs> what mm -hmm. do we do? She's just she's still stuck with this whole thing that she loves doing. Mm -hmm. But now they're okay with it. Whoa, now. Okay, so, mm -hmm. I mean, from theater, you went into comedy also, right? So, I mean, we know you as a comedian. I mean, mm -hmm. I remember I told you you were a cartoonian. Yeah, the, when we first, the first met, time. you called me cartoonian. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we know you as the funny person, but when did you, like, decide that, okay, I, I will go up on the stage and, like, perform? <gasps> or your first before stage, that, where was that? Yeah. I mean, before that, I was making videos already. Yeah, yeah. And the person responsible for putting my videos on the internet, wow, that sounds so bad, the person responsible for putting my videos on the internet <laughs> Uh, Chan, Monchan. Oh, Monchan Bra. Yeah, Achha. because I was in his house, and then he's, so every time I go, like he cooks dinner, and then I'll mm -hmm, go mm -hmm. because I'm so useless. I can't cook properly, so I'm always looking to be invited to someone else's house mm -hmm. to feed me. And then he would see that I'm always doing something or the other, and he's like, Ah, let's today let's take a, make a video. Achha. And we and he just took a video, <clears> and then then he uh, sent it to his to two people, and then then it like became. Like people started sending that video back to me. Who could that face either? Which one is that? That was me um, speaking in an American accent on the phone, and I hang up, and I'm like, "Hoi, chotu bosti de jawala." Oh yes, 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 I remember that video. I remember that video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something. Okay. Yeah. So, so then I started doing videos for a mm -hmm. bit. Uh, then. Um, and then I think, oh yeah, I was watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and I was like, okay, I, sh I think mm -hmm. I'll try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I contacted another comedian friend. I said, I want to try stand-up comedy. Wow. He said, okay, yeah, this, this is this woman. She's, they do stand-up, like, they're mm -hmm. open mic, so you just go try out the open that's mic. Right. Yeah, that's so how it started. Were you paid the first time? No, you don't open get mic, paid. You don't that's get paid it. for open mic. Sometimes you even have to pay to go for this open mic. It's so sad. Yeah. Okay. But then, yeah. Oh, cool. Hmm. I, I, I remember uh, hosting the, uh, the stand-up comedy in Dimapur. Mm. I think that was the first time you... That was my yeah, first, that was time, first time. Dimapur, I mean, in right? Dimapur, right? Yes. And that, I, I guess that was also first time in Nagaland, like a proper stand-up comedy show. Before that, okay, Chotomoto in a church kande variety show. And really, I think that was the first. And we got a very good response, if you remember, right? Yeah, the people <clears> were so sweet. So, but, you know, it's always like that. People who come to watch stand-up comedy, you mm -hmm. know? They, I remember there was this comedian backstage because mm -hmm. when you before you go up on stage, all the comedians are just huddled together. And mm -hmm. I was nervous and this girl was like, you know what, if they've come here to, mm -hmm. the, to the show, they've paid money to come here, they've come thinking I'm going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. They're not going to heckle you mm -hmm. because they want to have a good time and they're always supportive. So always go up on stage knowing mm -hmm. that the audience has your back is what she told me. Okay. Yeah. So I think it was... Yeah, it was nice. But I was very scared to do the Nagaland show because, see, in Mumbai, you, you go, you do open mics, you know, and mm -hmm. then sometimes <coughs> the jokes work, sometimes the jokes don't work. So mm -hmm. it's the same joke that you just go to different sets and you, you know, to different places and you perform. Mm -hmm. And you keep um, correcting the jokes or just shaping it based on the audience reaction. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know, because these are all your test audiences. Yeah, in Nagaland, yeah. I didn't have a test audience to mm -hmm. do that. It yes, was just yes. like... And just like go there and just like blurt everything. But that out was like a big man. That show was like really good, you know. It was. There was a nice crowd also. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. nice a very people, decent yeah. crowd. Yeah. There's household, you know. Yeah. yeah Achha. It was anyway, from comedy and then uh, we saw you in the screen, right? <laughs> so acting, kine or Like, what made you again? Like, and who? Where was the first break you got? You know. No, like, I always wanted to become an actor, but achha, then achha, I was achha. just not getting the opportunity, mm -hmm. so I just started making these videos. I've always Achoo. been very upfront. Yeah, I've just said like when people say, "Oh, what do you?" I was like, I started making videos because I couldn't get acting gigs, so I just started and then like was hoping that they would leave. Sometimes they do, so that's that's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, 
So, are they, I mean, we asked a question from the, from, you know, your fans and, you know, many people were asking this question mm. about your experience, you know, so far working outside and the struggles, you know, mm. because uh, many people see the front side, the glamour, yeah. you know, what you're doing, but they don't see what you go through. So, mm. if there's any story you want to share, you know, the struggles that you went through, <laughs> yeah. There was quite a few struggles. Mm -hmm. I mean, I went to Bombay. Mm -hmm. um, it was, there was some TV show that mm. I did. Mm -hmm. Like questionable, super racist TV show mm -hmm. the, for one pilot episode, you know, and, then, and I remember just filming and thinking, oh my goodness, what is happening here? What is happening here? But I had been hired, so you just have to go and do whatever mm -hmm. you've been paid to do. Yeah. And then, um, then they brought me to Mumbai for a day of shoot. Mm -hmm. I came and then luckily Nancy was there. Okay, so yes. I contacted Nancy and I went and stayed with her for, and I was like, I'll be here for a week. And I told my flatmate in Delhi, I'll be here for a week. Mm -hmm. And after one week, I was like, uh, I think I'm moving here. Wow. And I just decided to move. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I started looking for houses and all of that. So uh, I was there, I think um, two weeks. Oh no, wait. And then that's when uh, the first gig that I had in Bombay was I helped production. I helped, do you know this actor called Jim Sarb? He Sorry. was in um, Nirja. He was like achha, achha, Nirja? a really bad guy in Nirja. Who was like okay, he did okay. a fantastic job. Achha, achha. So <clears throat> he was doing a play, and then I helped him in production. You mm -hmm. know, and it was just, and then I just really liked the theater community there. You achha, know, achha, he's achha, like, achha. yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have Aditi read for this parts, and maybe Kalki if she's <laughs> free. And I was like, what? You know, and then, and then I was like, are, are you, is that what happens? And then, and I was meeting all these people and, mm -hmm. and I would be like, I saw you in an ad the other day. And they're like, yeah, yeah. Huh. And then just, because wow. it's just work. So they're like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I did that ad, yeah, you know? And then and I remember we would do script readings and one day there was like doorbell ringing and I went and opened the door and then Kalki walks in and I was Ooh. just like, oh my God, that's, 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 mm -hmm. that's, guys, that's, that's. And they were like, oh, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? And she's like, I'll go make chai for everyone. And like, yeah, 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 yeah. And she just went to the kitchen. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> you know? So, wow. yeah, that was my first. And then, um, yeah, so um, uh, that, and then theater doesn't really pay much money. But Jim, mm -hmm. like, he did his best to pay us. Like, he actually paid us really well, consider, wow. considering how much you get paid. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I ran out of money. I had to find a job. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I bumped into a friend's friend, and he was looking for someone to hire. And sure. that's how, yeah. And then... I would try to make videos in the weekends. Mm -hmm. Then I would go to work during the week and stuff. Wow. Mm. So, I mean, as I said earlier, many people don't see the struggles, you know, people go through. Yeah. I, I'm sure even those big stars, you know, when when they, you know, when they're beginning, they go through all this thing, but then everyone see it, the glamour and all. Anyway, uh, <laughs> speaking of movies, uh, many people saw you in the famous movie Akhani, you know, Akuni, you know. So, uh, how did you land up the role? And then, yeah, let's talk about Akuni. And also, I mean, I heard that during the shoot, you, oh, lots you know, of adventures you, in you, you fainted or, yes. you know, you became unconscious. Would you like to share some experience from the movie? Um, I actually auditioned for Lynn's part. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And then, um, yeah, then I didn't get it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. <huh? laughs> Which is, yeah. So then I'm like, I auditioned, didn't hear from them. Like, okay, I guess it's not happening. Then the director's like, hey, 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 can you just come and like do a part? But it's like really tiny. Mm -hmm. So just please, can you just come and do the part? And then I was like, okay. And then I went, you know. <clears throat> and, um, and that's the film through which I've met a lot of amazing friends. We're still mm -hmm. friends today. And the last second day of shoot, oh my goodness, it was amazing because mm -hmm. we were shooting in the basement. There was no air. And you know, shoot time, you're okay. up by like six, seven o'clock, you know. I think we must have reached set, reached set at like nine, ten o'clock mm -hmm. and we're there till like seven o'clock in the evening or something. Wow. So you come out to have lunch because lunch we were not having there because it's set. But um, <clears throat> there's no fan, there's no AC. Wow. And it's Delhi, it's June, so it's like, 40 degrees, wow. and there's 30 sweating people inside that Ew. place. <laughs> and they've cooked food, so there's like food lying out there, and the woman who cooked it was like, this is, don't eat this food, guys. It's gonna go bad, you know? I Like, I made it in the morning, and you, it's gonna be there till the evening, it's gonna go bad. Wow. Then um, there's this there's this equipment called Loban. It's like basically a chula, and then they just mm -hmm. burn it to create that smoky effect. It comes really nice on screen, but when they're burning it, it's like, it's such a hassle because, you know, there's smoke, everyone's coughing. And then, so we were there and we, we just sort of 
got dehydrated. Wow, so. <laughs> and um, then um, Asanla, who played the, mm-hmm. you know, Asanla, who played yeah. the bride, she got really sick, you know. And then, wow, I feel so bad. I'm laughing. I'm like, she got really sick and I'm <laughs> laughing. Uh, but she, and she was wearing all, like, you know, like her mekla was tight and she was just came out and she was like, I think I'm having food poisoning. Once we wrapped up and wow. then she was trying to remove her mekla, but then she had a lot of ornaments around her waist and we're like just <clears throat> removing it for her. Mm-hmm. And she's like, my stomach is hurting so bad. So they just rushed her to the gari and Not then they left. And we were shooting in Savdarjang where... Mm-hmm. Gali. Ga- yeah, there's <laughs> tiny little gali. So, yeah. so after yeah. that, we were done and then we were walking out. And it's my fault also. I didn't hydrate myself. Oh. You forget to hydrate yourself because okay. you're inside, you're like, pani, <clears throat> and then no, it's outside. Okay, fine, I won't, I'll ask for pani later. You start saying mm-hmm. like, you know. So <laughs> we went on the road and then we had to walk quite a distance going through gullies and then mm-hmm. finally we reached this place. Mm-hmm. We were waiting for the car and while waiting for the car, I collapsed on the road. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, then I was taken to the hospital in emergency. Mm-hmm. They were trying to take out my blood, they could barely, and, and the nurse was like, she's very dehydrated, There's barely, we can't even take out blood, we're really struggling wow. to take out blood. Mm-hmm. And I was there with the drip, and, and <clears throat> everyone panicked, so mm-hmm. Shayoni was in her night dress, mm-hmm. and she hadn't removed her makeup, so <laughs> night dress and full face of makeup, and then she's in the hospital, <laughs> she's looking so oh, funny. Wow. Lynn, like, half dressed, like, pajama hair, but then, like, fancy mm-hmm. kapra hair, uh-huh. with still makeup on her face, and then oh. they, and then they put me, uh, in the bed, and I think after half an hour, I saw Asunla coming in, to lie down on the oh, bed next she? to me. Oh, she, she. <laughs> and both of us with drips, like, like, hey, you know, <laughs> fun, you know. Okay, yeah, and okay. then uh, we just took drips, went back home uh, to the hotel, slept, and the next day we had to resume shooting. <laughs> so, wow, that's the struggle I mean, the actor that goes was, through and all, yeah. yeah. But I can't imagine when Delhi they buffing or AC not high enough. Oh, yes. Basement, Basement again. Basement, wow. yes. Okay, so I, I, there was one guy who wants to know how much you got paid for a Kuni movie, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to say something? I got paid a decent amount of money. Ooh, <laughs> great, great, great. Awesome. Achha, now, like, enough of serious, serious talk. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, so there was one uh, of your work called Call My Agent on Netflix, okay? So I was the one who shared the moment and everyone was asking. So there's a scene where, a kissing scene in the... Na? There is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I <laughs> no, I'm not sure. So, uh, no, coming from Nagaland, okay, coming from this place, and it's so rare to see our people kissing on the screen. <laughs> feels so good, okay? How was the reaction from your parents initially? <laughs> First of all, I remember, it, like, on Instagram, I got a notification. <laughs> Alobo Naga tagged you in a story. And I went, and there was me kissing Ayush, and I was like, Tu Alobo Chutia, he knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> okay, and then it's like 15 seconds, it's done, and they're like, Alobo, I hate you so much, you know? <laughs> so, um, no, yeah. I didn't do it intentionally. You know, I was like, the movie, the, the series was so... Chalu, okay? No, the okay. series was so good. I was like, Saina, I do it last year, so last season, the last episode yeah, there. Uh, then I re- you're like, oh, I'm so touched. Oh my goodness. Oh, their <laughs> lips are locking. Oh, saliva exchanging. Oh, 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 oh let me yeah, take yeah. this. Chale, let's, let's talk about this. How's, uh, how, how, do, how do you feel like kissing some like stranger on camera? Yeah, like, it, it feels I'm like, with, by that time, we had already filmed for a month, so Ayush and I became really good friends, achha, you know? Achha, achha. So it's actually... In the beginning, it's mm-hmm. weird because you're kissing someone mm-hmm. and there is a camera shoved in your face while you're kissing someone. Mm-hmm. But then after like the fourth take, it's just mechanical. Fourth you know, take, but like fourth time kissing? <laughs> I mean, you have to get it right. They'll put the camera here, then they'll put the camera here. And Achha. then they're like, oh, it's not looking very... You guys don't look like you like each other a lot. Achha, you know, Achha, after Achha. the first take, we're like, yeah, because it's awkward. I'm kissing my friend right now, you know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, after the... So, uh, then, Uncle Auntie, what was the reaction? They still haven't watched, but oh, really? they know because I told my mom, you know, yeah, and I kissed the guy and her reaction was like, oh my goodness, what does he look like? Oh, you know? yeah, looks like, so, yeah. Like, what does he look like? And I'm like, yeah, decent looking guy, it's okay. Like, oh, okay. But yeah, Auntie and Uncle, maybe you might not know, but this is not the first time she's kissing on screen. Okay, I know the other movie, but let's not talk about that now. Number one shoot, yeah, so... <laughs> okay, okay, let's talk about the leather jacket you bought for me, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. remember? 
Uh, my God, so, you know what? So here's the story. We went to Delhi for a show, met this girl, went shopping, shop, shops closed. I told her to buy a leather jacket and send me. Yeah, he was bin sumi. obsessed with getting a leather jacket. And I was like, first of all, to, like, can't, why can't you just go to Zanemoto and get one from there? Like, you know, like, Tohan la, like, banai no hai. Like, so leather I was jacket. Like, Ma, kushi ro ki And it was the first time I ever met you. Yeah. And then I don't know how I ended up going to the mall with you. But like, because I didn't even come to meet you. I meant I came to meet Sumika. Sumika yeah. yeah. <laughs> because he was yeah, that time he was dating my cousin. So yeah, I came you're to right, meet no. him and then like got stuck with this other person who who was like, like something something. And then I remember you like uh, you got you got my number. Like hey, hello boy here. So anyway, these shoes from Zara and then sent me like three links. And then you're like oh, no, no no forget it, forget it no 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 they're out of stock. And then it's like but I want to buy a leather jacket. Okay. And I'm like but. I've already met you once. How are we like best friends now? Hey, and I have to go like shopping for you. I have to go shopping for you already. <laughs> like that, okay? And then I remember I went and then like we went through all these leather jackets. Okay, fast forward. Leather jacket. Huh? I could not <laughs> even. Such a nice leather jacket. Yeah, I and I gave it to my younger brother who's like so thin. It, it did not even fit my younger brother. <laughs> you should have sent it back to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So many people want to know, like, uh, this earning, like, of uh, comedy and all. Like, can we make a career out of it in in, in India as of now I from mean, comedy? Well, if when you are starting out, you better have some savings. Achha, achha. Yeah, like but that. Once and, you and reach, and yeah. a lot of people. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like because open mic. You're not earning through open mics. So uh -huh. You're going from one open mic to the other. Achha. And then uh, you're just performing, you're just uh, crafting your jokes, you're just making it better. So mm -hmm. you're not getting paid. You mm -hmm. know, you have to even pay. Oh, my stomach is rumbling with book like that. Okay, it's not a good call. I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to I can imagine doing this in like Ellen DeGeneres show, I think, or maybe like Karan Jorah show. I have a book like this. No, but seriously. We'll yeah, serve you food, don't worry. I, After no, this. I okay. Have a little bit okay, now me. moving ahead to do acting now. Mm. Uh, acting, David, do you, I mean, I'm sure now you're. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How much do you earn, my friend? Huh? Well, it really depends. It really depends on the producers and how much they're willing achha, achha. to pay. Depends yeah. on the production house also, yeah, yeah. Achha, achha, achha. If it's a big commercial film, mm -hmm. then you know you're going to get paid very well. If it's like a small film, then you're like. Mm. Achha, so, do, kina thake, normally, like, how do you get paid? Like, in the sense, like, extra bulk, kina thake, na day is a problem. Like, well, they, it's usually it's written in your contract. So, what, like, they always. So, you decide. Sometimes people decide um, how much they want to be paid Achha. or like if they want to be paid in one go okay. or and sometimes people decide if they want to be paid on a per day basis. Mm. So based on the per day basis, there is like a, an estimate of how many days we're going to shoot. Achha. So you come up with the total <coughs> amount and then it's like, you know, 10% on signing amount. Mm. Then Achha, like, Achha, once Achha. you start filming, 10%, then like 50% after film. Achha, Achha, Achha. Just okay, break okay, it up okay, like okay. that. Yeah. So maybe this will be the last question, the mm. serious question, before we move to the happy, happy <laughs> question. <laughs> okay. Happy hour. Um, so, uh, see, we don't see much uh, roles from, you know, our side, Northeastern, in the mainstream movies and all. Uh, Maybe the roles are not written for us mostly, but then um, how do you feel when people approach you just because you're not discerning, you know, not because of your acting or your. Mm. How do you feel, you know? I mean, you just know because now what diversity is, is huge. Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone's into diversity, and then sometimes you just know when you're being the diversity hire. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's difficult sometimes because there's a language barrier also, because we're not fluent in Hindi. Mm -hmm. You know, the only person who's managed to break that barrier so well. He broke that barrier. He even broke the race barrier. And that's mm -hmm. Danny Danzongpa, who yeah. would play a Rajput, he would play a Punjabi. And you just forget that you're watching yes, an yes. ethnically different person playing mm -hmm. a Rajput mm -hmm. or a Punjabi, you know, because he was just so good at it. Mm -hmm. But I think what happens is you're put into stereotype boxes, you know, yeah. like how, like for someone to be poor, it, I mean, like, if you want to show someone from the village, then you get a dark-skinned person, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know? So, and, and, and they even have, especially in ads, there are certain words like upmarket looking. So mm -hmm. when they say upmarket looking, it means someone, someone who can pass, someone who's fair. You know, they want to show someone who's from defense colony. 
you know, that sort of thing. Yes, so yes, they, yes, they call yes, it yes. upmarket looking and Ooh. all that stuff. So it's, yeah, a lot of times it's the stereotype boxes that people mm -hmm. just get filled in. And then we also fall into one stereotype mm -hmm. box, you know. But I, one thing I don't understand is mm. like, how are you fitting the stereotype box when your eyes are so big? <laughs> You know, my, I, I know my eyes are humongous, but like once I cross the chicken neck and go to that side <laughs> of the country, they're like, oh, you're from the Northeast. We can just tell, you know, it's... Wow. Yeah. And for it's, us, you, you look so foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> I should dye my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on this note, we'll take a break and we'll come back. Don't go away. We have more happy, happy questions for you guys. Okay, see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want your children to be a doctor or engineer? We make it possible here at Imperial Coaching Center. With over five years of experience and the best faculties from the leading IITs and NITs, we have created over 100 success stories here. Transform your child's dream into reality. Join Imperial today. Welcome back to another segment of the Alabanaga show in conversation with my friend Merla M. Song and let's be serious here. <laughs> so what we did was like I, I went online and then I asked people, you know, your fans, your supporters, your even your haters, <laughs> if there's any question they want to ask you. Hmm. And I got like lots and then I picked few from there and I will read out to you and I want you to please, you know, be gracious enough to reply to them, okay? Okay, so the first question is from uh, it's underscore SJM called underscore poem, okay? Wow. What is one thing you regret and what do you want to be reborn as? Wow. Re regret? <laughs> yeah, Gosh. one thing you regret. I don't know. There's so many things that I try to, I, that I do regret that I try to tell myself, no, 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 no. This is like, character building process. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here today if you didn't if I didn't make those really stupid mistakes I'm so embarrassed about, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I want to be reborn as a man, yeah. As a Naga man just walk around and just <laughs> enjoy the privilege of being a man in Nagaland. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts. Okay. This is okay. Long T underscore eight eight eight. Mm. What size? Explain long t underscore eight eight eight. Wait, now I'm gonna look in there. Long t underscore eight eight eight. What what do you mean? What size? What shoe size? Pant size? Capra size? Bra size? Underwear size? I'm very sure you wanna know about my bra size, okay? Because what else? There's like sexual innuendo in that question. It's like ha ha ha, you're so funny. <laughs> um, long t underscore eight eight eight. Why are you obsessed with breast size? This is unhealthy. You should go to a psychologist. You should get yourself checked for this. You know because. It's unhealthy to have at this age, because I'm guessing you're more than 18 years of age if you're allowed to use the internet by your parents, then this is very unhealthy. You know, how will you face your, does your mother know that you ask these kind of questions? Long T underscore 888, I am extremely disappointed in you, but if you've been asking my size because you wanna send me bras, I like Marks and Spencer, I like the underwired ones with like very, thin padding, but it just, I don't know, based on the design, sometimes your size changes, you know, like like a 30, I'm usually a 32B, but sometimes 34A also fits like really nice. But don't get me from Westside, I want from Marks and Spencer underwired, okay? Long T underscore triple eight, I am waiting for those bras from Marks and, Marks and Spencer and, and get me like, get me the, get me the ones that I can wear with t-shirts. I don't want lacy printed stuff. <laughs> This guy will stop using internet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, is, what kind of a question? I don't is know that? what kind of question. Long T underscore it, it, it grow your own boobs so that you're not obsessed <laughs> with other people's breasts. 
That's all I have to say to you now. <laughs> okay, Mark Sands Princeton will sponsor your next video. Yes. Okay, so uh, lots of people like, you know, asking about your relationship status. Are you single? Is she married? Uh, well, you know, once you cross the age of 30, you're, you're no longer single or in a relationship. You're just unmarried. So, <laughs> yes, I am unmarried at the moment. You're plural. Yes. <laughs> okay. And advice uh, she would like to give to her younger self, Ajanyo. Is it Ajanyo Pekki? I don't know. It's Ajanyo underscore. That's it. That's it. Ajanyo. No. Oh, no. Ajanyo or Ajan. Okay. Fine. Just Ajanyo. Okay. And okay. advice she would like to give to her younger self. Oh, wow. What advice would I give to my younger self? Don't talk too much. No, you blurt out the wrong things at the wrong time. So just control that mouth of yours. <laughs> Be more hardworking. Um, yeah, that self-confidence issue you have, nothing's going to fix that. You're still going to feel shitty about yourself 10 years down the line. Mm -hmm. Can't help you with that, sis, but yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. This is the first time I'm going speechless. Uh, what type of comedy do you really dig in? Who are your favorites, your comedian, favorite comedians? This oh, is from wow. Paton underscore one. Um, well, Paton underscore one, I really like Bo Burnham. Mm -hmm. um, I also really like Steve Carell. Mm. Yeah, I find Steve Carell hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Conan O'Brien, but I mean, he's mm, like a talk show host, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, I think Bo Burnham is my current favorite uh, stand-up comedian. I He's also a brilliant filmmaker. I also really like Key and Peele. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Awesome. Okay, this is from, I don't even know, BGS Sweet Sparkles. What if Those are Chris very innovative names, <laughs> yeah. I have to say. What if Chris Hemsworth mm -hmm. looks like Rakesh <laughs> in her DM? <laughs> will she still kiss his poster? <laughs> hey, I will kiss Chris Hemsworth's poster under any circumstance. Say, even even on my wedding day to some other guy, I will still go and kiss his poster because that is the respect I have for him. Mm. Um, this is from Mochi Kali uh, mm. 218. When did you realize your passion for creating content? Uh, wow, it was... It didn't hit me as a eureka moment. I think it's... Everything in life, nothing has really hit me mm -hmm. as a... Nothing has come as an epiphany to me. Everything is just like, you're just sliding through life and like, oh, this has happened. Like, oh, this has happened. So yeah. it's always just been okay. like that. Yeah. This is very interesting. Mm. Atio Katiri, okay. Mm. The qualities she prefer in her man. Oh. <laughs> okay. Chala uh, bol I, uh, <clears throat> what am I looking for? I would like a per I want to, I want a person who I can tolerate for the rest of my life. I think at this point, it's just uh, someone who I can tolerate. Yeah, and I don't have a lot of patience, so okay. another thing goes into that, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so the next question is from Atto Wetsa. Mm -hmm. If she becomes Nagaland CM for a day, what <laughs> would she do? <laughs> okay, chalo. <laughs> I'm such a useless chief minister because as a politician, you have to go out and meet people. I'll just be hiding from people the whole day. I think I'll probably spend the whole day trying to hide from people. You yeah. would do anything for... I'll try. I mean, you know, I'll probably go and try to do stuff, but I know that... Once factory settings have been restored, everything will go back. I don't know. I am not the right person to pick as a politician, as chief minister. Um, there's so many things to be done. So I don't even know where to okay. begin. Boring answer. It's, okay, yeah. let's move yeah, on. Boring answer, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Definitely from Avika. not winning me the Miss Universe crown. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is from Avika Sue. Finally, okay. Why did she take so long to come to your show? Okay, shall I answer this? What Someone is asking, is there? why did she take so long to um, come to... I was here last year for five months in Nagaland when the Alobo Naga show was yes. very much, you know, like, whatever. And then I was here from the month of May till September. Um, I didn't get any messages. I didn't get any calls. So, heartbroken, I had to retreat back to Mumbai. And then... Oh, yeah. Miss mm -hmm. She lives in Bombay, okay, and we don't have budget to fly there, okay, and we don't have budget to bring her here because we're just starting, that's why. But fortunately, she came home this time and we could get her dates. Thank you, public. And I was here for five months. <laughs> okay, this is from Tushi Waling. Hmm. Uh, th sh he wants to request you to be a Naga politician for 10 seconds. <laughs> What will Kuch, I do? Kuch kar ten ke liye. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Nay, moi khana hai. Anti narrow for ten seconds. <laughs> like what? 
Antinero. Oh, wait, what's Antinero? Um, it's a green tea, don't know, call it Shibia. So it's a New Zealand brand, and I know, I'm really disappointed in you. Gucci Jutabi Pana in a Nike, that's like so middle class. <laughs> Okay, let's keep it. Okay. We're in the parallel. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, uh, I want to know your favorite actor, you know? I have favorite actor keeps changing like every two days. I don't know. Right now, who do I really like? Who do I really like? Uh, I really like Tilda Swinton. Mm -hmm. I really like her. Um, I also really like Ben Wishaw. He's really, I hope I said his name correctly. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is also really good. So Indian? Know, what about Indian actor? I mean, Tabu. Tabu? Yeah, Tabu. Really? Oh, wow. And Irfan okay. Khan. Irfan Khan is okay. amazing. Nagam. Yeah. Nagat. I love Nagat. Tense. Okay. Mm. So, and director you want to work with? Uh, like, from any part of the world? Yeah, any part of the world. Yeah, it is all. I'll send you an Excel sheet. Okay, then let's go to India. Then come back to India. I uh, uh, actually, you know, in terms of um, filmmakers in India, I want to work in like really small budget films, like um, self-funded films. You know, like small upcoming. Directors. Are you saying because you don't get big? <laughs> Are you saying this because you don't get big projects? <laughs> it's okay, no, man. no, but honestly, you do not because there's mm -hmm. so much soul that they're pouring into yeah, their true, films. True. Na? Mm -hmm. to do, there's just so much talent out there. And mm -hmm. when there's no external force and when they're doing it themselves, the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one digna they make fantastic films. Mm -hmm. So I do want to work with a lot of the up, uh, young okay. like yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh you you did a lot of work, so which is your favorite so far, you know? Uh I mean, I haven't done that much also, <laughs> but uh, I think my favorite would be this film that I did with my friend. She directed it, mm -hmm. and um, it's currently just circling around in the film festival circuit, wow. and it's called Succulent, and it's it deals with the idea of selling um, companionship. Mm -hmm. So that was, it's a short film, so Achacha. I really enjoyed working. Ooh, yeah. nice. Where can we get to watch it? Is it possible for our audience? No, not yet. Ah, cha -cha. No Later. one's. Yeah, it's okay. difficult to sell okay, indie okay. films. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably you'll never see the light of day. Oh, I mean, probably you'll never go to any OTT platforms. But let's see. Okay. Hmm. Please upload in your channel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna do some fun segment right now. You you are known for your acts, and you know that the you know. You're really good with that. So I want to give you a challenge today and you please do it for the audience, yeah. okay? Let's start with Wait, British. I'm Come on, let's go with British. I'm so tense right now. Okay. What if I make a mistake? And there'll be that one comment, la. 22.08, that allowed the British accent. Tick, tick, and then someone commenting. Okay, Let, let's do it with, uh, let's start with British. Um, what do you want me to say? Um, you have to give me something. Okay, let's talk about, about okay, yeah. uh, me not get married, uh, getting married, okay, okay. Chalo, let's work on that. Hello, but I think the problem is that you are essentially not a very good person. So probably all the girls are just running away from you and, well, you should probably work on that personality of yours because honestly, it's so bland, boring, <laughs> extremely boring. I'm falling asleep right now. Thank you. Okay, what about American? <laughs> What do I talk about? I don't want to hurt you. American. Then what am I talking about? Okay, let's talk about American uh, Nagala Society with you. Um, I think it's like pretty cool. Like it's such an amazing society. Like the culture is super amazing. Like your colors, they are so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, I like the food, but it's like a little overwhelming on the taste buds as well. So I prefer, you know, eggs and bacon. I don't really don't like the acuni or whatever you call it. Cause it was like, um, it smelled kind of funky. I don't want to like offend you and shit like that. Okay. Uh, mm, let's do De South Delhi girls, okay? Like uh, South Delhi girl trying Akuni for the first no, time. The, the thing is, it's just, I don't know, I have a... I have a general Delhi accent. I don't Achha, even Delhi, know chalo, which chalo, part of chalo, Delhi. Chalo, Delhi, Delhi but it's not even accurate. I'm just scared chalo, to get it wrong. Delhi girl and it's like, trying what, y'all? It's like, it's like, 
यार इट डजेंट स्मेल लाइक छोले भटूरे यार मेरे को छोले भटूरे खाना है ये क्या लेके आया यार मुझे नहीं खाना है यार आई लव व्हाट यार यू टोल्ड मी यू टेक इट टेक मी समवन यू ब्रॉट मी हियर बट ऑल दिस आई कीया लैम्प्स यार ओके आई एम फीलिंग ओके रशियन रशियन मनो अंडरग्राउंड खान लोरे को था You have uh, taken a lot of extortion money from the people. Uh, you keep calling it tax, but you are still stealing from the people. So you have to be ashamed. Have mm. some dignity. Mm. At least I have dignity when I kill someone. You kill for money. <laughs> okay. That's it. Now, wow, uh, one, they're gonna one. threaten my well, family. Last one. Last now. one. Uh, okay, fine. I- I'm singing a Sema song in a concert, and a French guy enters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alaba, your accent is so beautiful. It almost sounds like a French accent. Uh, the name of the, the the name of the song is uh, Oshi Kimti. I think that uh, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mahanla, for introducing me to Alaba Naga. <laughs> Such wow. a bad Woo! French accent. So good, you're so good, man. Woo. Okay, uh, I, I, I want since you're an actor, I want to give you, you know. A test, okay. Uh, <gasps> something you're really good at, man. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about the Real Housewives, you know, in Kohima, you know, which you're really good at, you know. Uh, the, the, I'll give you a topic, yeah, Auntie Naruga. The topic <laughs> will be uh, yeah. let's bring, uh, let's say, okay, uh, Alu Boy and Nise uh, always fights. <laughs> <laughs> And you want Auntie Nara to talk about uh, it? Yeah, Auntie Nara, the real housewives of Kuma. I mean, I do not say aro alo bolaga. It's none of my business. I don't really care. You know, last time my Paris jada I'm there, I was just thinking, um, why should I bother about them? You know, molaga friends kando. I don't, I don't mingle. Tahan laga. You know, tahan sas loabi molaga same breath. Mo itu sas lo le mon na. Alo bolu please at the turn go with it. Tola please at the turn go with it. Do like a same how I'm going to call them one night because, you know, to handle, to gypsy July, not to wagon or pull a July take issue, no? To wagon or July, you know, I'm going to get a lot of people who are going to understand it. I'm going to get a jeans party, so I'm going to be careful. I'm sorry. Okay, come back. Uh, your, your famous character Rakesh, okay? Okay, uh, let, let's do it's Rakesh. It's not even that. Like, uh, Rakesh flirting online. Like, you know, Rakesh, you know, you know. But I made a video about it. No, no, we'll do it. Some people, some people, let's do it. But I need a mustache for Rakesh. No, it will happen, let's do it. Hey, dear. Hey, dear. You look beautiful. Hi. I want to enter your heart. Thank you, dear. Miss you, beauty. Wow. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm so excited. And I'm happily doing it also. It's a good one. You're my favorite friend. Okay, so uh, so we we we. I mean, you are so good, but. Like anyone, you know, and like anybody, you also get a lot of hatred. You also get very mean comments. Not as much as you. No, obviously, <laughs> I'm the father, man. Uh, so we pick just like few good ones, and uh, we want you to. Reply. What do you mean, good ones? Okay. Like, we want you. To, we want you to reply. Okay. Hate, to... hate comments are not good. <laughs> You're not supposed to say good so, ones. So I want you to read out. Please read out the name also, okay? So that yeah. you know, our inner Karina, you can reply to them. Look at the camera and then just swipe. Uh, yeah. Um, Lijaba Ao. Hey, this S, S, S. Nagaland, act like Nagas, dot, dot, two dots. Uh, I don't know, act like Nagas. First of all, I mean, it's I, S. So if you say S, you know, maybe it's someone saying like S, like poor or donkey, but like doesn't want to say, right, A double S, like just like that. So, um, act like Nagas, dot, dot. Which, which Nagas are you talking about? Dijaba, Dijaba, Ao. Um, uh, uh, what, do you want me to, to take out my Dao and go chop heads? Is that what you mean? Uh, Dijaba, Ao, I want you to explain properly what you mean by act like Nagas. So, uh, my YouTube channel is always open, so. Please, please give me suggestions on how you think I should act like Naga. Okay, I'll just move next along. Next one, please. Uh, you do not angami, angami last time. Put it on the next one. Next one, like it is. 
Salina, Salina. Replaying uh, saliva. Ki ho. Pagli nishna se. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Salina, I agree. 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 I mean, what can I say? It's truly. <laughs> yeah, at least she didn't say pagali. I said she said pagali nishna. So okay. it's that nishna word that just you know makes a difference. And um, Salina, Salina, I agree with you. Pagali nishna to say. Yeah. Let's see. Sarah Sarki, don't post bekar videos. Don't post bekar comments, Sarah. You have to do better than this. This is very un. This is below par troll, yeah. Call this trolling. What's wrong with trolls these days, yeah? This is. This is like third class trolling. You have to emotionally hurt me. You have to get to my heart. You have to make me cry. Am I crying? No. I am disappointed in you, Sarah okay, be Sarki. Before you move on to the next one, uh, the <laughs> there was one comment from Kohima. Mm. One guy hmm. telling you about prostitute or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, want, you want to mention about I that? I forgot his name also. He was an Angami guy. And he's like, you should. I think he's removed that comment from his uh, from the, my channel because maybe he, I don't know. You know, you know. Change please of heart. Tell he them. said, you should join the porn industry and you should do um, inter. Not inter. Uh, you should do interracial scenes. And I was. I don't know. I, how do you respond to a comment like that? Wow. I was like. First of all, um, I don't know if there's a proper established porn industry in India. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll accept me. I haven't sent them my resume. I haven't sent them my audition. I don't even know how. How do you audition for a porn film? You know, like, do you audition with another actor or do you just take this lamp and just start doing strange things to the lamp and hope that they will see the level of creativity that you're going through? So, and I don't also, also know how much money you get paid. So, I mean, like, I'm not really looking into the porn industry as, like, a, a backup for myself as of now. Um, but, uh, yeah, but thank you for being so concerned and thinking that I should, you know, have an alternate career, you know. People are so loving out there, like, they're always looking out for me. Thank you, porn guy from Kohima, Nagale, wherever you are. Love you, bro. Next one, quit crying by Illuminati. Wow, the Illuminati is following me, guys. <laughs> you yeah. gotta be famous. But what, what does he mean, quit crying? Where was I crying? Maybe in the video I was crying. Maybe I did an amazing job of crying and this person was so touched by my level of crying that, that I have, maybe, I would like to imagine that this person was crying mm -hmm. while typing this. I was like, stop crying, yeah, you're making me emotional, yeah. That's, yeah, Illuminati, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry I made you cry. I will stop crying. Please come wipe my tears away. Quit playing games with my heart. <laughs> Next. Oh, you wanna say? Oh, wait. Oh, wannabe. If you wanna be my lover. Uh, yeah, so this is just Wannabe by mm -hmm. Lima Koda. Uh, I don't know. Is Wannabe your favorite Spice Girls song? Because it is my favorite Spice Girls song. So, hey, high five, Lima Koda. Yeah. You have great taste in music, Lima Koda. Keep listening to the Spice Girls. They are better than Blackpink. <gasps> Oh my goodness, all the black pink uh, people. They're gonna... Yeah, they're gonna massacre me. Yeah. Please, take No, back. I said, in Please. my opinion, I, I grew up listening to the Spice Girls, so the Spice Girls were my black pink. <laughs> Smart. Uh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. You're uh, by Agu Kotsu. I, I am related to some of the Kotsus. I hope this is not some distant relative. <laughs> You're acting as... First of all, people have to start writing IS and not just S. It's very confusing for me. You're acting S, really irritating. One, two, three, four, five dots. Um, especially da, way, you, talk, question, um, comma, and without space directly. It's very allergic. E-L-E-R-G-I-C. Wow. Is there, is there a word called alert? I mean... She speaks the language of the gods, like creating <laughs> new words. Um, I'm sorry that my talk caused allergy to you, and it's called, it's spelled allergy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, it's okay, you speak the language of the gods, so I respect you, but um, allergy, Garne, what's that good medicine? There's one good medicine, Allegra. Take an Allegra every time you watch my video, and it will stop the allergies. If the rash continues, then see a dermatologist. Yeah. Um, I hope your allergy gets better. Agu Kotsu. Um, okay. Next. Jesus. 
by MC Bhutani. Jesus, you both look same to same. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. I am sorry, but I am serious as well. I'm very confused. Like, you do not take the name of the Lord in vain. Are you telling me I look like the Lord, which is, I mean, I'm like, well, deep inside, I am trying to be more Christ-like day by day as a Christian, so I'm touched, but thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. It's, it, wait, there's more. Oh, what was it? Tracy, Keith, you and the camel teeth are almost the same. Ha, ha, ha. Um, so I have actually, um, I have 4.3% camel blood in me, which is why I have teeth like this. So yeah, I mean, it's genetics that I have camel teeth. Oh, that's it. Okay. So Thank you so much. Wow. I, I'm sure they are so happy. You know? mm, and no. then you got a chance to no, so nice. fight back today. So, it's okay. so sweet. Like, yeah. such sweet comments. So this is the last segment, okay? Yeah. And then uh, I, I want to ask you just one, two questions and we're done. What is the craziest thing a boy has ever done for you? <laughs> no. no one's done anything crazy for me. Seriously. Good. Wait. No, seriously, no. Wow, my mind is blank. No one's done anything crazy for me. Boys, start doing. Yeah. Oh, there's a camera here. I'm seeing this camera for the first time. I don't know. Wait, oh, this is for both of us. This is for me. Oh, this is okay. Thanks for letting people know that we're using mini cameras. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you mm. find the following people's phone, okay, mm. who will be the last dialed number? Nah. Mm. Uh, let's start with Nipirio. Uh, me? <laughs> Obviously, who do you think is this advisor? Hello. Okay. Uh, mm, Bambi Kevichisa. Me? Who do you think gives... <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Ajo Bambi, who does Ajo Bambi keep calling? Maybe Nise. Okay, cool. What mm. about Nise? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a boring one. Okay, yeah. uh, write a matrimonial eight, okay? Oh. For Alobonaga. For you? Yeah. Um, Alobonaga, the wanted, desperately wanted bride for Alobonaga. Um, <laughs> cash reward. <laughs> Yeah, Cash for... reward, bracket, negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> I am a desperate man here. Yeah. For dowry, please get leather jacket. Yeah, I'm fucking good. Yeah, I'm fucking good. He's <laughs> waiting for someone come to get married, then he'll get married probably. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for your time. And, uh, You're not going to ask me more suka questions. I think, you know, the audience need to go home also. <laughs> <laughs> they, have to, they have to sleep also. But anyway, on a, on a serious note, thank you so much for taking our time. And then I had really, you know, <laughs> good time. I hope oh, I hope the audience had good time too. And uh, yeah, before we go, we mm. have a small gift hamper for you. It's <laughs> not <laughs> yeah, we have a small gift <laughs> emperor <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, from Oriflame. Uh, so, really? Yeah, so uh, Oriflame, you know, helps many women. They, I mean, when you talk about women empowerment, they are like on top out here. Uh, they have been helping women irrespective of caste, color and status to fulfill the dreams. You know, this is a company where many women could able to realize the word and believe in themselves and financially make them independent, you know. So thank you, Oriflame, and they That's got so everything. Sweet. So when I asked them, they said, they said, they said, like, morning, they said, 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 they this is uh, oh sugar scrub oh fancy. So before we end up the show and uh, we give you a chance to say the last message, are you seeing anybody? Why are you so interested? No, no, it's ha. not me. The the, the your it's friends are asking. Such a gossip, Auntie Alovo. Your uh, friends are asking. Today, Mama Hangin ya hudi Auntie Alovo. Today, people get offended. Are, are you seeing anybody at the people moment? People get very offended. You know that. Are you seeing anybody? The I'll smile. text you. <laughs> And who was the guy talking before the shoot, you know? You mean those three guys? Boyfriend number one, two, and three. Yeah. Mando tinta, mando tinta. Jokes apart, please thank you so much once again. And then we are so proud of you and as a friend, you know. So really, really proud of you. And then, you know, 
basically you've seen you growing also, I mean, in the sense, in your career. <laughs> you've, <laughs> seen you, you've seen you growing old. And <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you so much and for your time. And, uh, you know, we wish you the best. And then we want to see you uh, like, big, big parte, you know. <laughs> and then we pray for big, you uh, know, breakthroughs very soon. And then, uh, yeah. Would you like to say something to the audience before we end up there? This is like Could so you? much pressure. Uh, I, I don't know. Do I have to? I mean, I, this is very like I, I don't. I really don't know what to say when people say, "Do you want to say something to okay, the okay. audience?" Okay. Uh, please say something to the audience. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching the Alobo Naga Show. Keep watching the Alobo Naga Show, and um, leave co mean comments and <laughs> for Alobo Naga to read. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, leave very mean comments for Aloma Naga to read because it makes his day. Leave mean comments for me also um, because it makes my day, I guess, because you guys write very shitty mean comments. It's sad. It actually makes me depressed reading the mean comments because the quality tanayo, quality nayo, trolling la level the napshi biago nagaland. It's disappointing. I think trolling is one. One area that we can all like, we, sh we could devote some time and like, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're put, there's potential for great trollers, except they just, the grammar is wrong or like the punchline is wrong, you know. With great practice, you, mm, I'm sure a lot of great trollers will come out. So just keep trying, keep trying. I believe in you guys. <laughs> keep trolling all over now. <laughs> cool. Achha, the best troll of mine you, you've seen on the internet so far. Oh, my favorite is that that um, thing where, um, what? Uh, there was a picture of Neil Armstrong. Goes to the moon, takes five pictures. <laughs> there was a picture of Alobo. Goes to Guwahati, takes 50,000 pictures. <laughs> okay, bye guys. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to her channel. The link's given below. Please go follow her on Facebook. I mean, Instagram, especially. I'm not where on she, Facebook anymore. Yeah, sorry. So she's not on Facebook. She's... On Instagram, please go follow her, uh, and then please go watch her movies. You know, uh, call my agent. Don't forget to watch that; it's on Netflix, and uh, Akhoni is also there. And keep supporting. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.